I decided to start with Lord of the Flies, you know, one of the most famous novels of the 20th century. Uh, you know, it's about a group of kids that end up on an island, an uninhabited island after an airplane crash. And they have to, you know, set, set up some kind of society uh, to survive. And uh, it doesn't really work. Turns out that civilization is only a very thin veneer. And if you leave this, these kids alone, even though they went to a really good British boarding school, you know, they were very well behaved. Uh, but, you know, they, they turn into savages. At least that's what happens in the novel uh, written by William Golding. It was published in the 50s and it became, you know, a huge bestseller. Millions and millions of kids had we to read it in school. We all used Lord of the Flies as a thing. It's like, oh, he's going to go Lord of the Flies. Like, it's, it's like a yeah, shorthand. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you have to read it in school or not? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. I did. Well, I, I read it when I was 16 or 17 or something like that. And I, I still remember, you know, the, the effect it had on me. You know, I, I felt like, oh, well. Huh, that's depressing, but maybe this is uh, more realistic as well. No more Harry Potter for me. Um, but then for this book, I decided to to see and, and find out whether there's ever been a real life Lord of the Flies case, right? Has it ever happened in all of world history that real kids shipwrecked on a real island? And yeah, what would have happened? So yeah, after a couple of months of research, I, I, I did find uh, a case uh, actually um, in 1965 in Tonga, which is an island group in the Pacific Ocean. There were six kids who were bored of their boring school and they hated the school meals. So what they decided to do is to uh, steal a boat and get away. Now, in the first night, they ended up in a storm. They drifted for eight days, ended up on this uninhabited island and survived for 15 months. And the th How long? The 15, 15 months? months. Yeah, 15 months. So the, the, then the crazy thing is that if you if you look at the real Lord of the Flies, like this real story, in almost every single way, it's the opposite of the fictional Lord of the Flies. It's a story of friendship, of hope, and of resilience. And actually, these these guys are still friends today. And uh, I, yeah, I managed well, to talk sure. to them. Well, sure. I mean, you, and, you have a you, hopefully you're bonded for life by the fact you got shipwrecked together, and you didn't yeah. eat each other. So now you're now you're each other's like. Uh, you know, Christmas list. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> like, remember exactly. that time <laughs> yeah. when we built like the, the lean to together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 